Like this video and then click the link at the top of the video description to enter our Xbox One and or PS4 plus $500 Amazon gift card giveaway. Subscribe, turn on those notifications, and enjoy the video. While you may be entertained by these superstars, they are giant, muscly monsters working in a company built on blood, sweat, and ego, so think twice about confrontation. I'm D. Wicket, and these are the 10 WWE superstars you don't want to meet in real life. Number 10, Scott Hall. Why would you want to meet someone known as the bad guy? Between keeping many characteristics of his Razor Ramon gimmick in real life and the fact that he still isn't completely sobered up yet, you really won't feel like you're talking to the legend, Scott Hall. Number 9, Stacey Keebler. Stacey Keebler was great. She did awful things when Vince McMahon and had Guinness Book world record breaking long legs. That joke should work. She was also a pretty great bitch, i.e. being very good at healing it up when necessary. All that being said, she's put that life completely behind her and would prefer you not asking about the time she gave Scott Steiner a lap dance. Number 8, The Miz. I'm sure the real Mike Mizanian is a great guy, but as long as he has a contract with the WWE, he's staying in character. In fact, he's very good at keeping kayfabe, and if you ever try to talk to him nowadays, he will keep that character intact and probably make fun of you multiple times. Number 7, Chris Jericho. For the exact same reason as The Miz, if Jericho happens to be playing a heel at the time, he will keep character on you and kill you verbally with words. That's what verbally means. The only reason I'd place Jericho above Miz while both are great in their role of asshole, Jericho would more than likely win in a war, war of wor words. Fuck. You know what I mean. Number 6, Ric Flair. It hurts to say this about the 40 plus year greatest wrestler of all time, probably legend, but Ric Flair isn't one to meet IRL. Not anymore at least. Besides also being invested in his kayfabe character, Flair hasn't exactly been in a great place since Reed Flair's death and he's also not been in the best financial position for a while, so until Flair can fix his mess, I'd steer clear. Number 5, CM Punk. Do I really need to elaborate? Unless you're a UFC fan or I guess a fan of his wife's new book, he doesn't want to talk to you. Number Number four, Scott Steiner. He's big, he's angry, he's probably wearing chain meal on his head. He's the big booty daddy papa pumper. It's Scott Steiner, and to be honest, he's just mad. Always mad, and partially that's because of Vince McMahon. See, in WWE, Steiner was awful, so bringing up his Royal Rumble match with Triple H won't exactly elicit happiness. Number three, Kevin Nash. Much like fellow outsider Scott Hall, Nash isn't one to talk to anymore. He's very vocal about his stance on wrestling and always has been. It wasn't just part of his gimmick to make fun of what he called quote unquote vanilla midgets, it was a part of his real belief and considering how wrestling is now, he isn't much of a fan. Number two, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is a scary, intimidating motherfucker, and I'm sure anyone standing in his presence would get pretty nervous. Adam would most likely agree with me. His middle name might be Edward, and that does make him a little bit less scary, but he's still Brock fucking Lesnar. We literally have a list of his 10 craziest moments. Why would you ever? And number one, New Jack. Oh my god, New Jack. The mass transit incident. The Gypsy Joe incident. The attempted murder of Vic Grimes. He's angry, he's gangster, he's New Jack. Literally, who would ever want to meet this man? He scares me, he's nightmare fuel, no fucking thank you, I don't want a fork in my throat. And that's our list, what are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments below, and if you like what you saw, check out our other work over at Spacebound, Watch 10s, Conspiratorial Wrestling, and of course, DWicket. You can follow me on Twitter at DWickedYT, and if you enjoyed, like the video and subscribe for more of the best wrestling content you've ever seen. Thank you all for watching.